Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn about Microsoft Teams updates. So there is an app available within Microsoft Teams, which is known as updates app. Let's see what all you can do with the updates app. So if you want to see a quick look, what all apps are there basically. So if you go to the ellipses here, okay, or you, you go to these apps here. So if I click on the apps, it will open the app section, right? And here I can search for the apps that are available in the Microsoft Teams marketplace. So I can say updates and you will see that the update app should be available, right? So updates app, okay? And this is from Microsoft, so we can simply click on it and it is already added, right? So if it is not added, you can simply go ahead and click on add here and then it will get added okay in the teams area and you will be able to see the app okay so if i go here in the ellipses you will see that i'll be able to see the recent which is the new update app that is there in the recents so if i click on this update app what exactly it is all about let's quickly have a look okay so here if you see we have different sort of templates that will allow you to basically get an update from the team Okay, so this is what updates app will help you to do. You can get the updates from, for example, the weekly update for the shift handoff, store opening, right? So all of these, if we go to view more, you will see that we have different templates available. You can start from a blank template and design your own update template to get the updates from your team members. Okay, there are already available default templates, for example, for daily work status, for sharing the weekly work status, project progress etc you have these out of the box templates in the app itself and we can go ahead and use these templates right so say for example you are looking for your team to basically submit the daily updates of the work that is being done so you can pick this particular template daily update and you will see different options here right so different for example what are your key updates what what is the summary of the work completed what are your plans for tomorrow do you need any support this is a radio button yes and no and then if you if yes what are the additional detail you provide the additional detail here and what is something you are focused on learning tomorrow right so for example you you don't need this particular section so you can go ahead and remove it right and then additional comment if you don't need you can go ahead and remove it but before that what we will do is we have to pick this template so we can click on the pick template and then you can go ahead and design the template add remove with based on the template that you have put so now here this is daily update and you can say for example you can edit the title so you can say daily update and you can say this is daily update for testing right daily update testing team and then in the description you can share or you can put the description there so for example i will put the same thing daily update for testing team you can customize it as and when uh, or however you want to now if we need to simply go next and you will come to the form design now this is the form space wherein you can add or remove the sections that you don't want for example i do not want to have this uh, section uh, of what if something uh, you are focused so you can simply click on it and you will see this delete field icon which you can delete or click on and the section will get deleted right so this particular section will get deleted if you want to move a particular section up and down select that and you'll see these arrows to move the field up or down in the form if you want to copy the field simply click on this copy field icon and a copy of this particular section will be created and you can edit that later so i want to delete it i'll simply click on delete and then you will see that only comments option is remaining and then then all other form elements are there okay now other settings on this form design in the updates is what sort of answer you are looking for so it's a long answer or you know um, just uh, the short answer so basically you can enable disable that and then whether it's a required field right so if you want to change it to the required field then you select that and you will be basically able to change it to the required for example if i choose do you need any support right you will see the required is turned on for this particular field okay if you don't want that this is not a or optional field you simply disable the required toggle for this particular field 
I'll keep it as is. And then if you see the ellipses here, you can see you can shuffle the options. You can have a drop down or subtitle accordingly. Now, say for example, I want to add a new field as well to this form. So you can simply click on this add new button and then you have the option to add the choice, add the text box or add the date, right? So if I want to add a new field here, so I can say, okay, add a choice and then specify the question. So I can say, how is release? So is release work progress on track? Something like that, right? So just, and then here in the option, I can say yes and no as the option, right? And then simply we go ahead and then move next and that will get saved, right? And this by default, you'll see that it is a required field. Okay. So you, the person who is submitting the response will have to go ahead and submit the response for this particular question. So once you are fine with this particular form design and the fields within the form, then simply click on next and you will come to the workflow settings, right? Now in the workflow settings, you have to specify who will be the submitters for this particular update, right? So who from whom in your team you are asking this update for. So I'll choose the team members who are then basically assign this update to them. So the, these people are required to be submitters and you can choose any number of people here who are part of your team. And then who is the viewer? So I'll be a viewer here. So I'll be adding myself as a viewer so I can view what all updates have been submitted from my team members. Okay. And then file attachment is required. If you enable this, then the file attachment will definitely be required in that particular case. I'll keep it turned off so that it's not mandatory to attach the file. Only if you are specifically looking for a particular file to be attached, enable this option. And then in the advanced settings, you will see that it is turned on. And here you can set up the update frequency. So repeat every week. Okay. Uh, and then select due date is where in the week what all days because this is a daily update so from Monday to Friday all the days are checked here and the due time is basically at five o'clock 17 hours every Monday to Friday right and then you will see will remind submitters two hours before due time okay so once you have configured all the necessary settings in the updates you can simply go ahead and publish this so now you will see that the template is getting published and here you can see that in the updates app itself we can see that daily update testing team has been added here and it is enabled and then who are are the submitters and viewers for this particular update there were previous update that I created weekly update daily update you can see those as well and who exactly is the submitter and viewer for those if you click on these three ellipses here you can edit a particular update okay or disable it as well say for example now I do not want anyone to basically go ahead in the team the release has happened I and I don't want anyone to submit the updates for that particular release I can go ahead and click on disable to disable that particular particular update which I do not need anymore okay so now this daily update for testing team has been posted now these people who are the submitters would be notified that they have to go ahead and update or submit their daily update for this particular daily update that has been pushed by you as a lead or manager okay so I'll go ahead quickly and see the update in the one of the user accounts right so I've, I'm logged in on my phone from the other user account so I can quickly see that yes there is a update notification that has been popped up which is required daily update testing team needs to be submitted by one of the users okay so here i'll quickly enter the responses and submit it so you can see or i can show you basically how the responses will look like okay so i have submitted the update and you will see that nishant has sent you an update a pop-up appeared as soon as the update has been submitted and if you go to the activity here you will see that nishant has sent you an update to view right so if i simply click on this it should load the response that have been submitted okay so you'll see that update response from uh, nishant and then sample response these are the these this is the text that i have put from my mobile app on which i'm logged in as the person whom the update has been assigned okay so i'm logged in as nishant in this particular case and i have submitted the update from nishant's id from my mobile app and then as the person who has sent this update so i'm the lead 
assigned uh, whom uh, who has assigned these or asked these updates for to the submitters so i can go ahead and see these updates that have been submitted if i close this you will see that i can see that these are the scheduled one so this is the daily update and this is the one that i just created so daily update testing team one has been submitted because i logged in as nishant or one of the user and submitted that from my phone so you'll see that that report appears here and one is un unsubmitted because this update is required from two members of the team right so this will be shown here in the review section as well and you can click on see all to see all the scheduled update and then in the general you don't have any general updates and then in the received you will see all the received updates that are there based on you know what type of updates it is uh, and when those are submitted on a daily basis right so this is basically very good feature within microsoft teams to see what all work that is being done you want to have a daily status report or daily updates weekly updates lot of other templates available as well and even you can create your own template template from scratch using the blank template and add the fields as and when required on those templates. Okay. So here you can see that in the submit, you'll see I'm getting more uh, templates here, which is basically the similar. If you go to view more, you'll see the similar template that are available here. And you can start from blank to create an absolutely new blank template for any specific needs, right? So now once the update uh, would have been uh, created notification will anyways go right to the to the user whom you have asked the update for okay now say for example you want to ask for update that are part of this say for example this chat team right development team everyone that is part of this team so if there are guests basically so guests won't be added in the update but anyone who is within your company and that's part of the chat will be able to get the update how you can do that so go to the chat right the group chat that you are want to ask and then in the right hand side you will see that you have these three ellipses and pick the updates app from there so now say for example i'm looking for project progress okay and then i'll pick all of the whatever template this project progress specifies and click on pick this template and then we'll simply go ahead and click next all right so here if i want to remove any of the field i can you know because this is a form design same workflow that we got so you can delete or you can move fields up and down from here itself so i can click you know i won't change anything else here i'll simply click next and then i'll simply publish right so as soon as you will publish this particular okay it looks like you haven't used updates in this conversation by adding updates you also agree yep so that's fine it's just a privacy policy and terms and conditions so i'll simply click on continue because there hasn't been update used in this particular conversation before okay so you will see that i am requesting the update so by default who were the members in this particular group who are part of my organization have been added as the submitters and i have been added as the viewer okay so this is more you know shortcut i would say rather than um, going to the app all right so here from and submit the update and everyone will be basically notified who is part of this particular chat and will be added as a submitter as well so this is more quicker way now when they'll submit you can go ahead and basically review and see their responses okay now what else or where else can you see the overall update so first thing is in the updates app itself you can see all the updates that you have created or asked for from the team okay so if i go to the updates app here within the team itself and go to review you will see what whatever would have been scheduled will be available here now apart from this place can you see these in some other place as well right now because we are using uh, the teams cloud so we can go to the office admin center okay so i'll go to the microsoft 365 sorry not the admin center microsoft 365 office.com and log into your account okay so if you log into your account and click on my content you will see that all of these updates that i have asked for right so project progress project progress have been updated here okay so if i click on the project progress this one you will see that this project progress form that we have submitted or we have added in the teams is available here now in the background the updates is nothing but the forms microsoft forms right and any responses that would have been submitted you can see those here in the responses so everything that you have posted in the teams will be available here as well 
okay so let's see some other updates that we have so go to home we refresh this so i'll open this one okay oh, okay so daily update right so we have some project progress but we have the daily update that i submitted and there was a response as well so we'll open daily update and let's see the response here was the response that was submitted by one of the users right and you will see that update from uh, Nishant and the sample response and everything has been available here and you can view these responses here but you can't edit anything here right so if for editing is required you have to go to the teams app itself to see and edit anything in the response or the questions right so here from the Microsoft 365 account as well you will see everything is basically available for you to review and view the responses as well okay so that's pretty much all about the updates app in a microsoft teams and how you are going to use the update app to create a new update to share it with the team and then add yourself as the reviewer or basically the the person who is looking for update as a team lead or manager and then see what all updates are being submitted within teams and within your microsoft 365 account so very nice app and feature will be really helpful and productive for you as a team manager and uh, as a team lead to get the updates quickly and efficiently from your team so that's all i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching